This video illustrates the installation of the IBM PowerVM NovaLink SDN software onto a Power8 system. SDN stands for Software Defined Networking. The purpose of this video is to show the high-level actions taken by the install operator. It is not intended to describe the internals of the installation steps. This figure gives an overview of the setup. First, there's a netboot server which contains the install images and a couple of files you have to edit. Secondly, there's an ASMI GUI launched from a browser. Thirdly, there's an IPMI console through which you enter the configuration details. At the end, the Power 8 system will be set up. This page lists the steps for the installation operator. Steps 1, 2, and 3 correspond to the three numbered boxes in the previous overview figure. In step 1, we set up the netboot server and get the install images for Novalink and VIOS if they are not already there. Then we edit two files, grub.cfg and boot ptap. In step two, we prepare the Power 8 system for the installation from the SME GUI. In step three, we use an IPMI console to enter installation details such as boot p parameters and parameters for Novalink and VIOS. And that's it. Uh, at the end of step three, which is step four, the in installation will be automatically kicked off. So just relax and watch the installation screens. In step five, uh, we show a figure of a sample resultant Novalink SDN enabled system. In step six, we test some functionalities of the install system. Step one, we set up the netboot server. The URL shown here gives all the details for setting up the netboot server. On the netboot server, we do two things. Step one A, get the install images for Novalink SDN and VIOS if they are not already there. Step 1b. Then we added two files, namely grub.cfg and boot p tab, in order to define the network configuration for the boot p client, which is Novalink SDN LPAR on the Power 8 system. In step two, we prepare the Power 8 system for a greenfield Novaling SDN installation by using a browser displaying the ASMI GUI of the Power 8 system. The detailed steps for doing so are, can be found in the URL displayed. Step three. We use an IPMI console from a Linux instance running on a Power or x86 machine for entering installation details. Step 3A. Once you see the SMS menu on the IPMI console, enter the boot P parameters so as to get the install images from the netboot server.
Step 3B. Enter the Novalink and VIOS configuration details from the IPMI console. Ensure that you select the option titled Choose to enable SDN. At the end of step 3, the installation will be automatically kicked off. So just relax and watch the installation screens. The installation will take about an hour, depending on the speed of your computer and network. The timer at the bottom right corner shows the lapse time since the beginning of the installation. Step 5 is the figure of a sample Novalink SDN system when the installation has completed. Note that the Novalink LPAR has one or more Ethernet cards. Similarly, each VIOS server can also have one or more Ethernet cards. Finally, we can test some functionalities of this SDN enabled PowerVM Power8 system. For example, we can lock in the Novalink LPAR and issue the PVM CTL command or ping a VIOS instance of the system. You have just seen how Novalink 1004 performs a greenfield installation. This installer is part of the technology preview version of PowerVM SDN, which was made available since December 16 of 2016. Greenfield installation means that all the LPARs on the Power 8 system will be recreated. Later on in 2017, we plan to have a product level of PowerVM SCN with more features. Thank you.